Ready? Ready. Morning! Welcome to Toad TV. Cheers. Cheers. I am Mary Beth. I'm Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And welcome back. It's been a couple of days. <laughs> Not that many, but... Mm. Excuse me. I'm drinking water. When you get used to doing it every day, it's, um... It seems like ages when you take three days off. I know. Three whole days. Uh, I'm drinking wild berry tea. It's from our tea box that we got from my brother. It's very good. Very good. Have you tried it? No, the ones that I've tried so far. Yeah. How, how is it? It's good. Try it. Yeah. So today we have plans. What we were going to do was get some work done in the morning and then get to do something crafty in the afternoon. And that's kind of the way we're trying to do this week is get work done in the morning and then the afternoon is ours to do something, make something. Um, the afternoon is was like this. Yes. At the beginning of the day, now the afternoon is shrinking. Yes. Because right. we're coming up with all the things that we need to get done. Um, the sale is continuing. It is 20% off site wide. And one of the things that is making this go like this is we're listing bags. Whatever bags we have in stock, we're going to list so that by the time this goes up, the bags will be listed. So if you are looking right. for bags, they will now be part of the They're, sale. Okay. They're not new bags. They're bags you've seen before. It's just right. we're going through the bin um, and putting up anything that's still left in stock. Right. New bags are coming in 2021, but not for the sale. Right. So, so there will be bags listed. If you are interested, you can check them out. Um, I know that there are a couple of Anora bags that are still left over. Um, and the bags will be discounted prices and then the 20% off on top of that. Right. So good deal on bags. Yes. However... We have so much fabric and more and more fabric. There are going to be bags in 2021 because right. we've got to clear this stuff out. Yeah. 2021 is the year of using what was purchased. Right. <laughs> 2020 was the year of buying things, like stress buying. I was preparing um, for the apocalypse <laughs> and the apocalypse is coming in 2021. We're going to so use 2021 it. is all about making stuff with everything that we bought. Um, including an after Christmas purchase that we made for ourselves of paper stuff that really we did not need, but it was one of those, hey, it's need 2020. Need is a relative term yes. during the stress of Corona and Christmas. So putting so it out there. It's just, um, I mean, Christmas is stressful enough. You add a pandemic on top of everything and just. Right. So 2021 is coming. For my actions. <laughs> we have three more days of spending and then we're not allowed <laughs> to spend anything else. Anyway, we hope you guys had a good Christmas. We had a very nice, quiet, very low-key Christmas, but um, we did get to see my brother, who uh, is a bartender. We kind of stood across the street and threw his present at him so that we didn't get too was, close. <laughs> kind of get out of the car, place the present, go back <laughs> 60 feet and say, okay, you can come get your present now. <laughs> but um, he's, he's, he's a bartender who is working outside in New Jersey and temperatures are plummeting and we got him fleece line pants. Yeah. To um, wear. So hopefully those are helping him out a little bit. Yeah, he wouldn't accept the hazmat suit that we wanted to get him. Right. But, he uh, thought it might turn customers <laughs> off, but I was like, actually, he knows that bar. That you don't turn the customers off. <laughs> Nothing turns them off. Um, but yeah, we hadn't laid eyes on him in almost a year. Yeah. So it was, it was good nice. to do that. We got to lay eyes on a couple of friends that we did some social distance yeah. throwing presents at. Again, um, ring the doorbell and run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt like a child. Ring the doorbell, run back. Ditch and what is it? Ding dong ditch. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we um, we we stood so social distancing away and you know left them little gifts. So that was very nice to see their faces. Um, so yes, and then this weekend, um, well, we watched the Mandalorian season two. That was fun. The entire weekend. I mean, we did the whole thing in two days. So that was good. But I really we, like that. We had a FaceTime with the nephews over Christmas, and um, they were, like, bursting at the seams to blow that thing. And we're like, okay, we got to... Yeah, we have but to We managed it. to keep them quiet. Because they said, have you Bye. watched The Mandalorian? I'm like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, no, 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 you're not allowed to talk about it. And then I texted my brother, who's the bartender, something about it. And he's like, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm like, well... I'm just going to shut up now because I didn't blow anything like major, but I right. did let loose something. I'm like, oh crap. All right. So anyway, um, 
But yeah. And then we started Bridgerton. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> This is so much fun. We watched one episode and it was like 10.30 and I'm like, so we're never going to bed, right? <laughs> we made ourselves. Yeah. But, oh, it's like Gossip Girl set in the 1800s. So good. It really is. And it's so pretty. Oh my God, yes. We're having so much fun There's with that. my Bjorn coming from Bridgerton. <laughs> I don't know why you would say that. All right, so. Um, we did the bags. Uh... Did the sales going on? All right, I think we're good. Right? Planning, yeah. doing lots of planning. Uh, leading up to the first when we're going to be releasing the Harry Potter Club. Um, and then over the next couple of weeks after that, leading into the 15th when it is the grand reveal. Yes. So we have lots of things that we want to get done before then, which is why we're trying to give ourselves some crafty afternoons so that we can get stuff done leading into it so that um, we have lots to show you. Yeah. So yesterday afternoon we uh, were making some uh, Christmas cards because we haven't sent our Christmas cards out yet. Um, can you imagine? <laughs> we're so on top of things, the fact that we let that slip by. Um, so uh, Graphic 45 on their YouTube channel has some um, very simple, quick uh, Christmas cards to make. So Mary Beth watched it and was talking. I did not watch it. You watched it, so you. Oh, I was watching um, because they have, um, we love Graphic 45 paper, and they have all different kinds of videos that go with their paper packets. So they'll do cards and boxes and things like that, can I tell you? There's one coming up that I fell in love with. I have all these different, um, sorry, we had a spike interruption. Uh, they have all these different videos showing you how to do certain things. And there's one that's an accordion folder almost that's got, it's made of uh, little file folders that are perfect for like recipe cards. But I thought if you made 12 of them and um, use them for pictures and mementos as you went through the year, but it all folds down into a box so that when you open the box, the cards, the uh, um, file folders kind of fold up. It's really, really interesting. Yeah. It's, um, I think it's called an explosion box, but um, it's, it looked really, really cool. And I love the pa paper packet that they used for it, which we happen to have. I don't know how that happened, but we do. Anyway, um, no, 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 I thought it would be a great yeah. idea to do for making, you know, little yeah. memento holders. But then I was watching that they were doing Christmas cards um, with some of their Christmas paper. So it's like an eight minute video. It takes no time at all, but they give you the dimensions of what you need and how to layer it and that kind of thing. So we decided we, um, we have some really pretty Christmas paper. Why don't we do that? So we were Skyping with a friend and we thought this is a great thing to do on a crafty afternoon. Right. So, um, the ones, um, I was using, Helen was using, I was um, using a Stamperia, um, Christmas. Their, it was their 2020 Christmas pack it was a six by six pad that I was using I feel very virtuous because I used most of the pads so it's like oh okay well that makes room for all the paper that's coming right I used one six by six pad half of it and that makes room for all the paper that's coming yes well you know clear some out geometry some was in. always my best subject <laughs> so it's a very vintagey uh Christmas paper line which I adore here, you want to give me those? I'll hold on to them. Um, there. And for really minimal effort, you got some, I got some really nice looking Christmas cards. You did. And the, there was the one that I went, I went rogue on and I made it look like a present. Oh, I thought that looks so pretty. Yeah. So, and then uh, we have sentiments that we stamped on the inside. And since it's going to be snail mail, put the snail in the back. How cool is that? Justify buying, you know, Lavinia stamps. Right. <laughs> so I used um, a, a packet from a company called Authentique, and it's their magical Christmas packet. And here are just a couple of the ones that I made that 
I mean, it's just a couple of different layers. And they the, the thing about Graphic 45 is they tell you the basics of what you're looking for as far as sizing is concerned. Oh, so okay. that, I did that one. I, yeah, I lined it all up yeah. on the left-hand side. I thought that was kind of cool. A little bit different. Don't make them all absolutely dead center. So um, I made a bunch of them, and then Helen stamped them all inside. And she used different sentiments on the inside and then they all have the stamp on the back and the great thing about doing something like this is um it's like oh remember that tim holt stamp set we bought ages ago yeah look i found a use for it boom and i feel good <laughs> and she matched the the um lettering inside to the lettering outside so that if it has more of a square look, she used the squarer ones. It was cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, we had a lot of fun doing this. And as Helen said, not a lot of effort. It was um, something fast and easy. And if you're a stamp or a um, paper collector like we are, yeah. here's something you can do with it. So yeah, they're really cool. They're fun. I love that cat. That so do I. So, so pretty. Just a really cool thing. Yeah. So that was what we did yesterday afternoon. It was lots of fun. Now sending out Christmas cards. Right. We sat and chatted and did this while we talked, and it was just, and planned 2021. Yeah. Are you guys doing your make nines? Because that was one of the things we were talking about, different categories for our make nines. Right. I'm just letting you know I have a make 11, so. <laughs> I refuse to be put in a box. <laughs> Mary Beth, you can't follow the rules. Not at all. Um, so we are off. We have lots of packing to do. Yes. Thank you guys so, so much for all the purchases. Um, yes. There's a stack. Keeping us very busy this week. Thank yes. You. Thank so. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also cleaning out, which is, which was the ideal yes. thing. Yes. So. We are cleaning out a lot of stuff. Um, so we are going to be doing that. Um, Helen's going to be cutting fabric while she um, does this and... Edits it. That's the word I'm looking for. Edits this. And I am going to list some bags and then go down and start packing. So we are going to be back tomorrow with cross stitch, right? Yes. yes. And we've got a prize for you tomorrow. So yeah. um, something we'll special tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, also, we wanted to talk about um, one of our viewers. She got an Audible subscription uh, for Christmas and she had asked us for some recommendations so we are going to do an episode with our favorite audible listens so far and then some of our our things that we're looking forward to um, and that will be Thursday's episode okay Thursday's episode it is okay so Wednesday we will do the state of the sweater yeah because better pick up some sleeves I split for my sleeves. It's starting to look like a, a sweater. Yeah. Not just a circle anymore. It's starting to look like a sweater. So That's so pretty. It really is. I'm loving it. All right. So tomorrow is cross stitch. Wednesday is the state of the sweater. Thursday is cro um, audible. Audible. Okay. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments because um, we'd love to see what you've been reading too. Right. And Friday is New Year's Day. New Year's Day and Harry Potter release. There you so. go. All right. So. We will see you tomorrow. Go forth and create. And have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.